Dear Aries, we are using the six card spread for your tarot reading for July. The first card of the spread is judgment. It reveals how you feel about yourself. You feel this is an end to an era or at least a certain phase of your life. You are taking stock and looking where you want to go from here. This ending is not one for regret but for rejoicing. Soon you will enjoy the rewards for your past efforts. As with any period of endings, many opportunities will present themselves and the choice that you make will have far-reaching implications that could change your life dramatically. The second card of the spread is justice. It reveals what you want most right now. The cards suggest that what you most want at this time is for a fair and right outcome whether it concerns relationships or business affairs. You feel that you are in the right and that any decision or agreement to be made should be in your favor. The third card of the spread is the High Priestess. It reveals your fears. You are feeling uneasy and insecure, something in your gut is saying be careful, all is not as it seems, something just doesn't feel right. Delay any decisions or actions until you have answered your concerns. If you are male this card could signify a significant woman in your life being a bad influence right now. The fourth card of the spread is the lovers. It reveals what is going for you. New love and commitment will enter your life, even if there's no one on the horizon, be prepared for a surprise. Throw caution to the wind and expect joyous and happy times ahead. The fifth card of the spread is the magician. It reveals what is going against you. Someone, most likely male, isn't quite who they seem. Trickery and deception can be cleverly disguised as charm and friendliness, so be sure that this person really does have your best interests at heart. If someone who you feel wary of is presenting you with a business opportunity, be cautious and trust your instincts. The sixth card of the spread is the Hierophant. It reveals the likely outcome. Help is at hand. If you want wise counsel and moral guidance put your trust in someone you have a lot of respect for. Don't allow others to influence you too much with what they want you to conform to, be true to yourself. When considering your options, go with tried and tested traditional values, rather than the unconventional novel approach. For example, marriage is more likely to be your desire than a living together situation. If you resonate with this reading, don't forget to subscribe. Dear Aries, in this reading we will also include your tarot card for this month, which is Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords represents victory through having mental strength and achievement. Justice, clarity, and creative thinking are all associated with this card. A brilliant idea could be just around the corner, or perhaps it is some sort of divine inspiration toward creativity. Face problems boldly and decisively. Do not hesitate. It is necessary to take action fast and firmly. Life will not be going smoothly this period. Do not let your emotions darken your reasoning. Whatever it is, with courage, honesty and determination, go ahead. Love and private life. In terms of love, this card can mean that you are ready to start something new, and if you are currently in a committed relationship, it can indicate that there's something about this relationship that you will choose to put a stop to. Don't hesitate to speak your mind. If something in the relationship is hurtful or bad for you, and you lose your partner because you say so, you haven't really lost, you are being guided toward a relationship that is better for you. Tell the truth. Work and social life. In the context of work, the Ace of Swords can mean that soon, you will try a different tactic or may even choose to leave the job that you're currently in. If you're committed to staying where you are, you may have some good ideas for new policies or procedures that could make everyone's life easier at work and improve the bottom line or final product. You will ultimately get the credit for anything good that you bring to the table. The credit doesn't have to be instantaneous. Finances when it comes to finances, the Ace of Swords calls us to know when enough is enough. Now is not the time to take chances with money. Don't invest any money that you couldn't afford to lose. You may be approached for a loan. As much as it pains you, it may be in your best interests to not lend what you are asked. You may not be repaid, and your relationship with your prospective borrower could suffer or be destroyed as a result. Lend only if you are willing to take this chance. 
Health. In terms of health, you may finally find it within yourself to stop some bad habits that you know are bad for you. This can also indicate the converse, finally starting something that is good for you. Expect some frayed nerves as you're making this transition. Take good care of yourself, only then will you truly be able to care adequately for others. Physical exercise is particularly important now, but don't overdo it. Spirituality. You may finally let go of a belief system which actually hasn't worked for you for some time. Don't beat yourself up if you find you had been holding some viewpoints and beliefs that you shouldn't have. Everyone makes mistakes or gets hold of the wrong end of the stick from time to time. You will find some spiritual truths that hold more promise for you and which are beneficial. Don't hesitate to talk to others about what works for them on a spiritual level.